I'm just going to quickly make my game pie. All it is is a mixture of game meat here, and which I've got in with some brandy, and you can put Madeira brandy, port, anything you like. Here is my almost binding together, although that does bind because the protein seals as it cools, but this has got the bacon, some pork, uh, I put a little, I put some koji uh, berries in there too, which I thought would be really nice. I've got some nutmeg, cinnamon. I'm also going to put some garlic in there, which will be delicious. And I'm going to put some thyme leaves. I'm putting fresh thyme leaves, quite a lot. Now I've got some lovely shallots here, so which I've just softened off, banana shallots. There we go. I'm going to just mix up. No, I'm afraid the only way to do this is by hand. There we go. Literally by hand. Oh, it has to really get in. You almost just massage it in. That's all you do is massage the whole thing in. So it's absolutely delicious, delicious. There we go. Now I'm going to season it. I'm going to actually put some allspice into it now. Oh, this will give me the Christmassy bit. Uh, some allspice. And I'm also going to put some pepper into it, some pepper and some salt. It is quite salty already because it's got some bacon in it. I've put some smoked bacon, some salt, I mean some pepper, and down some salt. And I'm not putting too much. So there's enough salt there in the bacon that's making it go up. Uh, so you pop it all in. Now, there we go. Bring it all up right in. This is one of the most important parts. Make sure it's completely... Mm, smells delicious. Now, to check whether it's got enough seasoning in it, there's only one thing you can do, and that is, don't worry about the venison, the marinated venison, and, and I've got pigeon, I've got um, partridge, pheasant, wild boar, and venison in there. I'm just gonna make a little patty. That's all it is, it's just a tiny little soft patty which I put in the pan to cook off just to check the seasoning. Now for me I could eat this raw but don't worry about it because I don't think any of you will do that and just to see what I need that's it and that will just wait now until I put the pastry round there. That is how easy it is and this is for putting in the layering. Those two things. I'm going to make these two but I'm also going to make some little ones as well. Now, you can put some pistachio in there. If I'm not going to, I'm going to leave it a solid game raised pie. Now, I don't have to have it completely sort of cooked through. It's just to test whether there's enough seasoning in there. And um, it won't be quite salty because I don't want it very salty. I also want to keep it because you're going to have things like piccalilli with it, some chutneys with it, all those sort of things with it, mayonnaise with it maybe whatever you want. So you want to, you don't want it to be over the top. Well, that's just sort of finishing off now. Uh, the next stage, I'm going to prepare the pastry. Now, again, this is also incredibly simple. I'm going to use those two. I'm going to cook some water and I'm going to melt the lard. So what I'm going to do is this is 200 pounds of lard. I just pop it in there. This is a hot water crust. I'm also going to take another one. Actually, I'm going to put half of that in because what I'm going to do is put some butter in there. Just put some butter in to give it a little bit of almost richness. So this is the hot water crust. Now this has to be worked quite quickly. I'm going to get a bit of strong flour in there too actually. The strong flour it's finer and it creates a sort of toughness which is quite important in this. So but I've only put a little bit in. Now if you haven't got any it doesn't matter. So there we are. Now we're just going to melt this. Before I melt this, let's just check on our, see whether it's seasoned enough. Mm. 
Mm. That's delicious. Yum. <laughs> that is really good. It's just right. And the bacon has given it that saltiness which I was looking for, which is really important. This means to boil. My butter and lard has melted. So I'm now going to make a hole. It's quite hot, so I am using a spoon. Normally I don't ever use spoons. There's a lot of flour here. Right. <gasps> I see what. This is getting down to work, as they say. Uh, again, really bring it in quickly. Now I'm using both hands. I would say to you that's a no-no, but it is quite hot, so and it feels like a dream. Now, I'm going to take this out. Yeah. Bring this forward. This is perfect pastry. Ah, it's rather satisfying, I think, this sort of thing. It's really, it's good fun. And it's lovely to make it before Christmas. And it really isn't difficult. Um, it's really easy. It's just finding a little bit of time to do it. That's the problem. And we're all so busy these days, I know. So, right. Oh, it's coming together now, brilliantly. Okay, what will happen is it'll start cooling a little bit. Uh, that will make it a little bit more difficult, but this should be fine. It's a good texture, look. That's a really nice texture. So I've got lots of time to work with it. Right. There we go. That's a perfect texture. Working well, working well. There we go. That's right. That's it. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide it into two. So I've got one for one lot and one for the other lot. Right. The first thing I'm going to do is obviously to butter my tins. We do need to do that. Want to get in there? Really butter well. Look how wonderful these tins are. Makes life so much easier. You can really butter it well. Really get in there. Okay, there's one. There we are. And there's two. Let's get this in. It's quite important to butter. So actually it helps not to stick. All helps, that's why. Right. Okay. What I'm going to do is go one, two, three. So I'm going to take one third off the top. Okay, so that's the top. So now I'm going to roll this out. So here we go. What I'm going to do is roll the bottom bit. This is a bit of a unique way of doing it. And then I'm going to take this because it's actually quite tricky to do. So what I'm going to do is put this in here. Then I'm going to work it up. Believe it or not, it's the, really, it's the best way to do it. Really work it up. So you've got, you're in there. And you can feel how much pastry is there underneath. You can go for that. What I've just done, I use my finger, my thing, to go in and really push it up. This is the only way to do it because it's so soft and I push into the sides. You've got to get that push into there. So I bring that right up. So I really get a nice, a nice shape. Don't be shy because you know this 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 is the old-fashioned almost way of doing it but actually it is the best way now we're going to do the next one like this flour and a little bit so it's just a little bit here we are in the center so it's the almost like the width of the almost like the width of the base here so i'm now going to take this in 
put this up, down, and start working. This takes time. Just make sure it's really in that center. I'm really pushing that. Right, this is my thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this in the base. This is my mixture of game, pork, bacon, mixed meat, everything going on. There we go. Get a bit of line of this in. So it's almost the same quantity. There's, I've had to put some fat into it because if you don't put the belly of pork into it, it's, it's too dry. So you need to put that in to make that work. Right, so we're now going to put in, having done that, I'm going to put in the marinated pieces of venison, you name it. There we go. Do it to the other one. With all that brandy on it, delicious. Oh, the smell, if you could have a smellaholic. So we'll put that there, one more. Push this down. Just the thin one. Okay. Ah, there we are, put this here. Just one layer. You know, the, the thing about these game pies are they, they are raised pies. They're such a lovely thing to do for Christmas. There we are. Now, that is wonderful. Now I'm going to do the tops. I'll make some little ones out of this. Right, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just put this on here. If I bring this up, bring this up. I'm going to see where we go to with before I cut it off. Bring this up. Just for fun, I've got that left over. I've also got these little ones that are so diddy. They're so lovely. So I'm going to just take these out. You see the butter then. Just put this on the base. I like to use cold butter, not melted butter. Because I find, otherwise, you know, you've got to put it in the fridge, you've got to let it go. So this is me being lazy by doing it with the butter itself. So easy to work with. There we go. Now, honestly, these little things are so easy. Right. Perfect. Now. I reckon that's enough for four. I'm just going to roll out the pastry that's left. That's enough anyway. Now keep a third for the tops. Doesn't matter what shape you do, because it's all going in there. There we go. Now, it needs to be a reasonable thickness. Don't want it too thin. Right, so we know we'll take this one out, which is, so we know it's this size. We've got to make sure it's bigger than this, so we've got to make sure when we do this, it's going to be another round about there. Okay. In, in, in. That was the first one. Is it good? It's good to see. Perfect. I'm going to leave it at four. Yum! That's a bit of a mess, but you know, because by the time you you uh, put it in the oven, it's got everything in it. People won't know, dare I say. Perfect. So bring that in, bring that in. Perfect, 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 perfect. So what we're going to do now is egg it. Sweet little ones, honestly, they're just adorable. I shall pop this in the oven now, because they won't do quite as long. I'll leave them in 45 minutes and I'll leave them for another probably 20 minutes because they're obviously smaller. 
There we go. These look really nice. But there is oh, a lot of meat in those. Wow, I'm going to put those in the oven now with the others. Off we go, in we go. There we go. Oh, we can see how these are getting on, look. Long way to go though. This actually has just had two hours and 20 minutes in the end, which was perfect. So it's a lovely solid pastry. Oh, look at this. Do you know, these things are so fabulous. You just take that out, look at that. Is that adorable? What I can't do is take these off yet. These you have to let really cool before you remove the actual um, thing itself because otherwise the juices will come out and they won't settle inside the raised pie. So you need to wait till they've cooled off and then do it. So, can't wait to have it. Well, look at those lovely big bits of um game in there so it's really solid that's a proper meal here well it couldn't be any better lovely with the chutney beautiful pastry perfectly done it couldn't be better to be honest with you it's just perfect <laughs>